Is coding in C too easy for you? Do you feel like you need a challenge, a real challenge? Well, don't worry then. In this video, we'll be going to code a complete 3D renderer in assembly. So, for a little bit of context, in the last video, we worked on the memory terminal of the simulator that I've been working on. And a great way to test the capability of the simulator is to make it compute a really huge task. Well, I'm just using it as an excuse so that I have a reason to sit for hours and hours and hours and hours to code a rotating cube on the screen. So first, being the dumb dumb that I am, I tried to directly code it in assembly, which is crazy. Of course it didn't work out, so I went and coded in C. Well, it didn't work out either. And that's because I was using fixed point math and I was having a lot of problems with it. So I first prototyped it with floating point math and made it work. After that, I had to figure out a way to do all of this in fixed point math. And remember, we have to code a function to calculate sine and cosine of angles. Because in assembly, we won't have a function that tells us what the sine and cosine of a number is. So we have to do it ourselves. I could have just used a lookup table, but I didn't want to do that. And after researching a lot, I found this video and it had the answer. I just had to adapt to fixed point math and it worked. <laughs> Now that we have the C code working, it's like a blueprint. We just have to follow it and translate it into assembly code. Well, it's way easier said than done. Look at this! I swear, I almost lost my mind several times during this project and I almost gave up, but I didn't. After days, days of hard work, we can finally see a spinning cube. Enjoy. Also, click the like button and follow me. Thanks.